Minneapolis. A local university wants more students to get vaccinated against the human papilloma virus, or HPV. IPFW will hold an outreach program this fall for the campus and the community. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us live in Studio 15 with why school leaders feel now is the time. Heather, the university already offers the HPV vaccine at its health clinic on campus, but some say that's not enough. Indiana is behind the national average for both men and women getting vaccinated. It's a vaccine many Hoosier men and women still haven't gotten. Indiana is at about 40% vaccination rate for girls compared to the national average of 60%. National average for boys is about 30% and Indiana is about 17. It's a series of three shots that prevents the transmission of HPV, which is spread through sexual contact. HPV can cause penile and anal cancers, anal cancers in men and women, cervical and vaginal cancers in women. IPFW already offers the vaccine at its health clinic. But now leaders are taking measures to get more people protected. It's something that's needed for the entire community, not just students. Uh, and they can obtain this vaccine through the age of 26. The university is teaming up with the health department to offer the first of three shots in October. Some parents have the connotation that if I give my child this vaccination, I'm saying, well, it's all right to go ahead and be promiscuous or to start sex at a young age because you're vaccinated. However, parents give their children hepatitis B vaccines all the time, and they don't say, well, it's okay to go out now and do activities that you could get hepatitis B from. Leaders continue to iron out the details, like where the second and third shots can take place but agree it's time to aggressively get people protected against HPV. It's a preventable disease. We want our students and the community to be protected against a virus that can cause cancer. We want to tie in a number of other healthy behaviors that we're really trying to educate people about. Uh, hopefully we're able to get them set into that pattern now. Now, the university will offer the shots on Tuesday, October 20th. The hope is the program will go so well that the university can continue offering this program at least once a semester. In Studio 15, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.